In this lesson, we're going to talk about subtopic 5.1, which is about gas. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain qualitatively the basic assumption of kinetic molecular theory and students also should be able to define gas law, which is Boyce's law, Charles' law and Avogadro's law. Get your popcorn ready and let's enjoy this video. In gases, the particles of matter are very far away from each other. And so, the force of attraction between them is very weak. <laughs> Thus, gases have neither a definite shape nor volume. They can fill the entire space or volume of a container irrespective of the container size. Okay, now let's discuss about kinetic molecular theory of gases. Okay, this theory describes the behavior of an ideal gas. Either gas is a gas which obey either gas equation PV equal NRT. And this equation has been derived from the combination of three gases law. Okay, which is number one, Boyce law, Charles law, and the last one is Avogadro's law. Okay, in the previous video, we can see that gases molecules are far apart from each other, and the intermolecular force between the molecules is very weak. Okay, now let's move to kinetic molecular theory. In this theory, four basic assumptions has been made, which is number one, volume of gas molecule is negligible, means that volume of gas is insignificant. In gaseous state, there are a lot of empty space between gas molecules. And gas molecules are separated from one another at a great distance. The molecule of gas is extremely small compared with the volume of container. Means that volume of molecule gas is occupied only small fraction compared to the volume of container. That's why volume of gas molecule is negligible. Remember that volume gas is not equal to volume molecules gas. Second assumption is intermolecular force between gas molecule is negligible. As a result, a gas particle travel in a straight line and is not influenced by other gas particle because gas molecule do not attract or repulse one another. The third assumption is collision among gas molecule are perfectly elastic. Gas molecule move in constant and random motion. They frequently collide each other. In a perfectly elastic collision, there is no energy loss. So the total kinetic energy is constant and molecule do not influence each other. According to the kinetic theory of gas, the pressure of a gas is caused by the collision between the gas molecule and wall of container. Assumption number four is 
Average kinetic energy of molecule is proportional to absolute temperature of gas which is temperature in unit Kelvin. When the temperature increases, the average kinetic energy also increases. Now, let's gonna talk about gas law. Gas law show the relationship between different variable to describe the gases behavior. The physical behavior of gas can be described by four variable, which is pressure, volume, temperature, and the last one is amount. Pressure generally measured in unit kilo pascal or atm. How about volume? Okay, volume generally measured in unit liter and temperature in unit Kelvin and amount in unit moles. The gases law that gonna be learned is Boyce law, Charles law and Avogadro's law. Do you still remember about this law? In this law, two variables are keep constant. Unit of pressure. Pressure equal force over area. First unit for pressure is Pascal. 1 Pascal equal 1 Newton per meter squared. Second unit for pressure is ATM. So 1 ATM equal 760 millimeter mercury or 760 tor. 1 ATM also equal 101.325 Pascal or 101.325 kilo Pascal. Make sure you know how to convert this unit. Okay, now let's do this exercise together. A gas sample occupies 1.40 times 10 to the exponent 3 milliliter at 25 degrees Celsius and pressure 380 millimeter mercury. Calculate the pressure of gas in unit ATM and Pascal. So, from theory, 1 ATM is equals to 760 millimeter mercury or 760 tor. And 1 ATM also equal 101.325 pascal or 101.325 newton per meter square. Now, Let's calculate the pressure in unit ATM. So first step, you must make comparison between pressure in unit millimeter mercury and pressure in unit ATM. So from theory, 760 millimeter mercury is equals to 180M. So 380 millimeter mercury is equals to 380 times 1 and divide by 760 millimeter mercury so the answer is 0 0.580 m Okay, so second unit is, uh, that you need to calculate is the pressure of gas in unit Pascal. So you must make comparison between pressure in millimeter mercury and Pascal. So given 760 millimeter mercury 
is equals to 101325 Pascal. Given 380 millimeter mercury. So, what is the answer for pressure in unit Pascal? I give you 3 seconds to calculate this answer. The answer is 5062.5 Pascal. Pressure of a gas, pressure exerted by a gas is caused by coalition of gas molecule with the wall of container. Barometer is the most familiar instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure. Let's start our discussion with the first gas law which is Boyce law. Boyce law state that at constant temperature the volume occupied by a fixed amount of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. So Pressure and volume are inversely proportional and two variables are keep constant which is temperature and moles. So, P times V equal constant. If we have two different conditions, the equation that associate with the Boyce law is this equation which is P1 times V1 equal P2 times V2. Let's move on Charles Law. Charles Law state that at constant pressure, the volume occupied by fixed amount of gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. The mathematical expression of Charles' law is as follow. So, V is directly proportional to temperature and two variables are keep constant which is pressure and number of mole. So, V divided by T is equal constant. If two, we have two different conditions, the equation that can be related with the Charles' law is this equation V over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 This is the equation that you can be used when solving problem about volume and temperature But when you apply this equation make sure the temperature unit must in unit Kelvin But, how to convert the unit temperature in degree Celsius to temperature in Kelvin? This is the formula that you can be used to convert the unit from degree Celsius to Kelvin, which is by adding 273. Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law state that at constant pressure and temperature, volume of gas is directly proportional to the number of moles of the gas present. So, V is directly proportional to N and two variable is keep constant which is pressure and temperature. V over N is equals to constant 
and if we have two different conditions, V1 divided by N1 is equal to V2 divided by N2. Okay, this is the formula that you can be used to solve the problem about volume and moles. Now, let's answer this question. Which Gess's law is suitable to solve the problem below? Question number one. An ideal gas occupies a volume of 1.0 dm3 at 20 degrees Celsius. If the pressure remains constant, what will be the temperature when the volume of the gas becomes 2.0 dm3? Number 2. Calculate the pressure in ATM needed to compress 500 cm cube of oxygen gas at 750 mm mercury to 100 cm cube. Okay, have you get your answer? What is your answer? For question number one, the guesses law that is suitable to solve this equation is Charles law. Why Charles law? Okay, because you must identify which variable are keep constant and which variable are change. From this equation, two variable are keep constant, which is Pressure and mole. And two other variables change, which is volume and temperature. For question number two, the answer is Boyle's law. Okay, because in this question, two variables are change, which is volume and pressure. 